Check this out. Someone tried to kill old man Torelli, right? Missed and shot Leo the Fart by mistake. Right. Uh-uh, wrong. Who took the shot? Was it Benedict? Most likely. Would he miss? No way. Unless he wanted to miss. You're saying he meant to miss? Why? Because, amigo, Leo the Fart was very, very fat. Get it? No, I don't. They broke in last night. They cut Leo open like a turkey, stuffed him with TNT. He goes off at the funeral and takes out the entire Torelli mob all at once. Babaldi owns the town. That's what all this has been about. Babaldi's gonna blow up that funeral. No, no. It won't just be a bomb. I mean, we've already had a dozen explosions in this movie. Oh, Danny, don't start that again. Nerf gas. What are you talking about? Three canisters of Nerf gas were stolen from military trucks the night before last. They could have stuffed those inside him. And you know what that means, don't you? Uh-huh. The other fart is gonna pass gas one more time. Mr. Torelli, I hope it's all right with you I am here. I don't want to be no fourth wheel. Nonsense, like a big no. You want to be no fifth wheel. Did you hear that, Benedict? Family. Go pay your respects, huh? Stay in a car. No way, I'm coming with you. Kid, let's say this is a movie. How many times have you heard someone say, stay in a car, and the guy doesn't? What happens? He saves the day. Or gets killed. Good point, I'll stay in the car. Wait a minute! What if stay in the car is what gets me killed? There's a gun in the glove compartment. Practice! Makes perfect. Decided to join me, huh? The fart is a bomb. They're gonna take out the Hortorelli mob. We gotta stop it. That explains the breaking at the mortuary. Geez, that's brilliant. Come on, we'll use the service entrance and back. Who are you working for, John? What do you mean? We both know there's no side entrance to this hotel. Sorry, Jack. I didn't want it to go down this way. Danny told me not to trust you. Hmm. He said you killed Mo Zard. Mo who? Zard. You know, I kill a lot of people. I can't remember half of them. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? In a body bag if you don't drop that. It's doubtful, kid. Real doubtful. <laughs> Thanks for the fingerprints, kid. You're about to murder Jack Slater. Here, chain yourself with that pipe. See, Jack, these drug guys, they got more money than the U.S. government. So you cut a deal with a Sicilian scumbag like Vivaldi. Right you are. You see, Vivaldi made up with Torelli, but it was a phony. He's gonna destroy him. So, in exchange for letting him alone, he gives me a profit percentage. I'll be rich, Jack. You'll be dead, but... Freeze! Ah! Pulls me the cuffs. Man, are you an idiot? You made the classic movie mistake. Don't explain so much. You had to get in those last few words. I mean, if you had just fired, you would have won. But no, you're the typical villain. Dumb. You ain't no genius yourself, kid. The fart goes off in seven minutes. Get my car. Move it. 
Well, I'd love to stay and watch the fun, but uh, I have to go and establish my alibi. <laughs> Arrivederci. Is this the day you were talking about saving? I don't see you doing anything. I wouldn't want to steal your thunder. No, 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 no. You stay here and make sure everything goes on as planned. You had Slater in front of the eight ball before, but you always screwed it up. All right, let's go. That's behind the eight ball, you moron. Somebody once told me I talk too much. No more words. Whiskers, where the hell have you been? Sorry, Jack. Furball problem. <coughs> Seal off the area. It's a possible chemical explosion in five minutes. Thanks, Whiskers. I owe you one. Forget it. You saved my fur plenty of times. Oh, you see the hook of that crane? I want it on top of the roof in two minutes. Go. Wait, how do I get him to do that? 